Hello and welcome. Since releasing our new digital planners, I've received many requests for a detailed tutorial on the customization options. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the different ways you can personalize your planner to make it exactly the way you want. We'll cover how to adjust the color and appearance, including paper color and an optional background image that can display on each page. I'll also show you how to set a custom start month if January isn't ideal, how to adjust the daily start time to match your schedule, and and how to create event reminders using the Apple and Google Calendar links. I've also had lots of questions about the customizable side tabs, so I'll demonstrate how to rename them and link them to various apps like Photos, Apple Calendar and Reminders, which can also pop up in a side window on your iPad for easier access. If you're new to our planners, you can find our shop link in the description, along with a beginner's video on digital planning on your iPad or Samsung tablet. So here I'm on the Planner Builder page, which is a web-based tool. So first I'm going to choose what app I'm using. And then the next one is the customization option. I'm going to go for advanced because that one has all the different customizations. And then we have full or minimalist planner. I'm going to go for the full planner because this is the one that has all the templates like wellness, productivity, finances, fitness. And then we have the planner color. So you can pick from one of these presets or you can choose a custom planner color. So in here you can tap on this hex codes and this opens up the Google color picker. So pick the color you want and then tap on this copy icon and then go back to your planner builder page and paste that into this box here. And a preview of that color shows up here. And then I'm going to go to the next section, which is a paper style. So in here, you can choose white, which is the standard white paper, or here are some options for different background patterns. Now these background patterns appear on each page and in the next section, which we're going to come to, I'm going to show you how to customize the color and the background if you don't like these presets. So you can choose one of these or come down all the way to the bottom. Now these are new options that we have this year. So you can choose a custom paper color. So once again, you can put any hex code in here. Now, if you choose a dark color, you're going to want to choose a font color that is white. The custom paper image is a optional background that you can have appear on every single page. Um, this is similar to the different pattern options you had above here, but here you can choose any image. So I'm going to tap on choose file and then choose my photo library because this is where I've saved my image. And then I'm going to choose this image here and then tap on done. So this image is quite light. So I'm going to stick with the black font color, but you do also have the option to have white font if your image is quite dark. You can choose which part of the image you want to get. So you can enlarge the cropping box size and you can also move this around and you can tap on center horizontally, center vertically, and then you can choose the image opacity. If you're using a custom image, I would recommend leaving the paper backing color white unless you want a certain tint. So let's say that I like this image, but I wanted it blue. You can paste in that color and you can see that it's given this a blue tint. So as you go opaque, it basically completely covers up that backing color. And as you turn down the opacity, it becomes more the color of the paper that you've chosen. The next section is header boxes color, and that is the color of all the headers in the planner. So like this part here, you can leave it gray or enter your own hex code in here. And here you have the opacity. If the headers stand out too much against a custom background, try turning down the opacity. The next section is dated or undated, and undated means you get to write in the dates yourself and use it in future years, or you can choose from one or two years dated. So this is an example of a two-year planner shown in rainbow notebook style. So at the top, you have the two different years. So this is the overview page. And then if you tap on any of the month tabs, it will take you to this page where you can choose between the two years, and then you can just tap on any of the hyperlinks to go to that month. With the one-year planners, you also have the choice of start month. So here you can leave it as January or you can tap on it and choose any start month that you want and whether you like your weeks to begin on a Monday or a Sunday. 
This section lets you pick the color of your rings and depending on which planner bundle you picked, you will have different ring designs. And with our landscape bundles, a lot of the difference is in the rings. And on certain listings, you will have this planner style choice so that when you tap on it, you get the choice of the different rings here. For the tab colors, you can choose from the default rainbow tabs or cream tabs or enter in a custom tab color. For the tab font color, if you choose a dark tab color, I recommend you go for white, otherwise you can leave it as black. This next section here is about the customizable side tabs. If you wanted to link to apps and websites and rename the titles, you can tap on this option here. For the tab names, you can just delete what's here and write in your own name. And this is case sensitive, so write it how you want it to appear on the tab. And you can have this as a standard divider page or for example here if I want this to link to an app so here you have a drop down and you can choose from this list so you have Apple apps here and then some Android options at the bottom so for photos you have this one which just opens up in full screen or if you want it to pop up make sure to install the Apple shortcut file first and then you want to choose the Apple shortcut option this side window option is useful if you want to see both apps open at the same time. For example, if I want to drag and drop from my photos, or if I want to drag and drop some items into my reminders app. Here you get to choose your weekly pages, or you can also choose to have no weekly pages. Now these images are just illustrative, so it's actually going to come out in the color and design that you chose. And then you have daily layouts and once again you can choose to have no daily pages and if you want complete freedom maybe to add your own widgets or use your own inserts you can choose the blank daily pages option so here we have eight different daily pages including one that is just lined and dotted if you've chosen a daily layout with a time schedule you're going to get this option to choose the daily start time so you can just tap in this drop down menu and then choose a different time and finally, if you want those links to Apple and Google Calendar, you can choose one of these options. So you have none or here I'm going to pick Apple Calendar. And for this, you also need to install the shortcut file. And how this feature works is that on the daily pages, when you tap on any of the time slots, it's going to open up Apple or Google Calendar at that exact time and date. And you can write or type in your events to set those event notifications. And that is the last step. So you just have to tap on, I'm not a robot. And you might have a little puzzle to pass. Then just tap on this link. When the planner is ready, you can tap on this download link. And here is the file. And then on the iPad, I'm just going to share it to the app that I'm using. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the planner. For navigation, you can use the overview. So all the weeks and all the days are hyperlinked on here, or you can navigate using the month page. So all the dates are hyperlinked to the daily pages and you also have the weekly hyperlinks here. On the daily pages, you can also tap on this icon here to open up a reminder and you can quickly create reminders using this panel here and you can also add it to a particular list and set an alert. And from any of the monthly pages, if you swipe back one, you can then access all of the monthly templates like the month review, habits and other pages. Tabs along the top take you to the different sections. So we have productivity and then all of these are hyperlinked as well. So then you have the different sections up here and here are notes pages, which are hyperlinked to the templates. And you also have the projects and goals dashboard, which is individually hyperlinked to the individual goals and project pages. For the other templates, you can go back to the home page, and here are some additional templates that you can jump to using the hyperlinks. Finally, you have the custom pages, so you can use these for anything you want. I've written reading on here, and when you tap on this, it hyperlinks to a blank page, so you can take some notes on here, or you can add on an insert or widgets. If you don't like any of the options you've picked, you can go back up the page and change any of the selections. And then down here, you can just tap on this box when it appears and then it will say download revised planner. So then just tap this again and you will get a new file. 
If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you have covers and stickers that you can download. And with these covers, you can just choose the one that you want and then copy and paste it into your planner at the beginning. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Check out my other Plan With Me videos if you need some inspiration on how to set up your planner. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.